with me today, and today we're going to show you how to put some sound on your Leica. Well, yes, we are. In fact, I'm going to tell you, if it looks like I'm a little hot and like I've been working already, it's because I've already done it. There it is. Yes, in all its glory. It sounds great too, by the way. I know what you're saying. You have a seat on there too, coach. Everything. I've got this thing ready for two upriding. I also have it ready for touring with one upriding where I have my back all of my baggage back here. You've probably seen the installations on that. But I'm gonna be doing a little mini day, one day tour where I'm gonna do between, you know, three to 500 miles, just depending on how I feel and what's going on in the world. But anyway, let's get this darn sound system on there because I'm gonna tell you, it sounds great. It really does. Here's what I put on there. It is the MTX audio system right here uh, for the Can-Am specifically. SKU number is 21940103. Installation was uh, pretty easy. Hardest part was just dealing with the heat index. It's well over 100 degrees today. And that's all part of the game, isn't it? You know, it's just part of it. So what I want you to do, grab your cup of coffee, get ready, come in here, figure out, let's figure it out because I'm gonna actually show you how to wire it. I'm gonna show you every problem I ran into whereas most people just kind of glaze over that stuff. I want you to actually understand how to do this. So when you go to put one on yours, you actually know what you're doing. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is pull these four push pins out. Uh, I don't have the tool, uh, I loaned it to someone. So I'm gonna be using a flathead screwdriver and a rag so as not to mar anything. As you can see when this uh, Riker was delivered, that one right there was already missing, so I only have to remove three, but you probably have to remove four. So remember your general rule of thumb, don't loan your tools out. They're really not that difficult to get out, even with a screwdriver, but with the proper tool, it's way, way easier. You see that just pops right up there. Then this little forward fairing has to come off, so we're gonna get these up. Went ahead and pulled everything out. So you can just push it, just push it forward. Push it forward, start working with it. Gonna use two hands. So in order for to get this to move forward, these you can see right there is a little compression. Just press those down. Of course, I've only got one hand doing this, and then pull it towards you, and then it's loose. You just have to work it out from there, just like that. Next thing that has to come off is this. Basically, once everything's out, it just sits in a track. There's really nothing holding it in. That, uh, everything's just kind of presses everything together. So we'll set this bad boy to the side. Next thing that has to come off. These little covers right here, got a couple of more push pins. We removed those two already in the back, so don't have to worry about those. Just have to remove these two here and the same two on the other side. Got them all popped up. Put these bad boys on out of here. Once you get them out, I'm gonna go ahead and set these to the side, but I'll show you what's holding it in once you get it out. You can see right here, got this little clip Clips right in that little rubber piece right there. Pulled it forward and popped it right out. It was not hard to come out. Very easy. The other one popped off properly. This little clip right here should stay in the machine. <laughs> you can see the little tip right there. And this should just plug in here. The little clip just came out with it, but nothing to it. Like I said, very easy. All right, now we have four Torx screws. These four Torx screws have to be taken out right there. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see what we got. Remember, things like this aren't torqued down very tight. It doesn't take much. It's going into plastic, so there's not much to this. The biggest issue with me today, honestly, is just the heat. The heat index is about 110 degrees right now. Talks about this metal bracket harness being taken off and done away with. What we're gonna do, we will take it off. But what I'm gonna do first is unplug this and just get it out. Uh, I'll show you exactly how I do that here in a moment. Let's give you a close-up view on how this came out. So this goes in, you can see how it looks there. That surrounds that plate right there, that, that surrounds that piece that extends out. That red bright, that red piece just pulls back, and when you pull it back, you just work with it. It's really, really snug. Just play with it, just work it back and forth, and it'll pop right out. Just don't stress about it. You just take your time, it'll be fine. Now I've got to take this metal bracket here off. There's one Torx nut right in there. You can get to it from the front. But now that I've got that bracket off, I can move this wire out of my way. And now I can see from the front, the Torx bolt is right there and then that metal bracket will be taken off and that's it. You know, I have a lot of friends who tell me they're afraid to do these things. They say they're not mechanically inclined. 
And I'm gonna tell you this, I've often said I'm not mechanically inclined, but I am inclined to do mechanical things and not be afraid of it. it doesn't just, you know, you don't just turn it once and then it feel loose. That's not how this is gonna work. So there it is, that little bolt right there. It says to throw this metal bracket away. However, I am not because this is not my Riker. This belongs to BRP, so I'll be keeping this. All right, so this is where the instructions become a little convoluted and difficult to see. And everyone that I've seen do a video on this has just glazed over this part or just not shown it at all. And I understand why, because you know they don't want to be responsible for you screwing up. All right, this little bracket here and these this uh, this spacer, they have to be put on. Now you're looking at your bracket right here um, for your steering. So what's going to happen? You've got that notch that your handlebar slide in. This is going to go in that notch, and these two pieces are going to go forward. This will slide on over that bracket, go over this. Your spacer will go in the middle there. And then these two mamma jammas will be screwed in, locked tight, pre-done. So I'm going to get the camera as close as I can, and then I'll give you a good look about once I get this thing all put together. You're going to have to put your spacer on first, or else you're not going to be able to get it through. All right, so I have the little spacer in here. This is going to go around that with the bracket that's going to hold the speaker system on there. So let's get all that bolted up. Once you get it started, it's really not a problem, but it is a nuisance getting it started, I will tell you. And if it looks like I'm sweating a lot, it, the heat index again is, last time I checked, was 111. So, you know, there's that. Coach Vic tells me, she goes, Bob, you are just the most patient man I've ever met. I don't know how you can get out there and putter around in that kind of heat without just being so angry that you can't get anything done. But I really don't mind doing all this. I really enjoy the heck out of it. I'm gonna give you a look at this and what I've got. So I have not tightened these down yet. But that's all there is to it. And you can see I'll, I'll snug these down. But you've got the bracket that goes around the outside of this plastic piece. You've got the spacer that goes in there and then the two bolts that have the Loctite on there. And they just have to be tightened up, that's it. Remember we had the screw that came out there. There's gonna be another one that goes right in there. So we're just gonna start all three of them and just work our way around until all three of those are snug. Here's some cold water. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate so it. I'm gonna go in the office and do a few things. Okay. Keep on working. All the live long day. All right, now once that, that yellow Loctite starts hitting, it's gonna get snug. And also, in addition to that, you're gonna have to be patient. Some of these things aren't that easy to get to. Just remember a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So I'm going to give you a close look at it. These two bolts, this bracket, spacer, and this. And the third bolt right there. Everything is together. That's what's holding it all on right there. It's nice and solid. All right, next up goes on the instrument cluster. Make sure the BRP is up, is right side up. It sits right there. Because the screw holes, from what I understand, will line up even if it's upside down. Now, I didn't do that, but I've been told these are the small screws that came out at the beginning. Very easy. Just going into plastic. You don't have to kill it. Just starting all four of them first. Again, you don't need a close-up view of this. Four holes, four screws, doesn't get much more basic than that, right? This is anyone who's watched this channel a while know that's what I would call Barney Rubble. And uh, I like using a little hand tool and things like this because it keeps me from crushing it and killing it going into this plastic. Because you can, I promise you, you can, and then you'll be uh, very upset. So I would imagine that little instrument panel is not cheap. Nice. Double check, the BRP is right side up. Move this. Let's go ahead and plug this harness in. I remember the, the, the red here was on the left. I've got the pin pulled back, press it in nice and snug, all the way till it clicks, then press and lock that. And the cluster is put back on. Now you have this bracket that's gonna hold your speaker on, the surrounding 
the cluster. I'll give you a closer look at that. So at this point, this is what you have. You got your bracket nice and solid. You got your little spacer in there. You got your uh, instrument cluster on and you've got it plugged in in the back. You have made sure that if you have a rally that you've loosened this up or, or at least mocked it up to make sure that your speaker is going to fit. The one that I had hit very heavily over here and it was a real problem. I loosened it up. It slid over. I can fix it. It's not a problem, but it's something to be aware of. So that's where we are at this point. So let's see what's next. All right. So I had a little complication. Here's what it was. The speaker, when I put it on here, would not go on due to it coming into contact with the handguard. Took an Allen wrench, loosened up the handguard. You can see it's bent out a little bit there. So what I'm going to do is when I put it all back together, put the speaker on first, I'm going to kind of force this with my hand and uh, get it on there. That's a complication you're going to run into with the rally. If this is not installed at its maximum width point, you're going to have an issue with that speaker hitting right there. Just be aware of that. It's nothing to freak out about, but it does add a little layer of complexity in the sense that it's one more piece of frustration in the puzzle when you do something like this. But be sure and mock fit that before you get to putting things together, because if not, be very upset so again just make sure things fit as you put it together there again you don't want to kill them this on there with these two big mamma jamma screws of course getting to anything again that's going to be that's going to be the problem with everything you do on anything ever is getting to it now these are going to feel kind of snug as you put them in but they're holding this speaker box on so it has to be pretty dang gum secure Again, take your time. All right, so all I'm doing now is just making sure that, you know, everything's working before I go any further. We've got the speakers bolted on, but they're not hooked up electrically. So we know everything's working now. Everything's right side up. So all I've got to do is, is uh, fix this hand guard. We'll get that put back on and button this up and put the plastic back on and we should be up and running. So let's figure out what we need to do electrically to get these bad boys working. All right, well, this is where I make my apology for not being able to show you the wiring. Apparently when my camera heated up and burned up, well, that's where I was wiring it. I wanna I wanna make this abundantly clear though. The wiring was actually plug and place. So it was very, very easy to do. So it's one wire, you pull it, you plug it in, you turn it on, that's all there is to it. It's just, it's really easy. Don't be afraid of this job. It's not complicated at all. And if you do get into a snag, you know, there is always the comment section and there's the messaging coach, Bob. All right. So let's get to the reassembly and the testing of this thing. But I'm sorry that the uh, electrical part was was burned up in the camera that, that died on me. There it is waiting to go back to GoPro. What can I tell you? And you know, that's all she's got. All right, there's a windshield mount that we could put right here. It's four screws, but we're not gonna put the windshield mount on there because I do not have the windshield. So all we need to do now is put it back together. So putting it back together, we will go in the reverse order. We'll put these panels on first. I've had cameras shutting down due to heat, but we're just gonna set these things in here using one hand. It's not very hard. We gotta put those push pins in. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Coach, are you doing that with one hand? Yes, I am. Again, be patient with this stuff. It's not hard. Don't be afraid of it. Let's get this side put on. Shove a push pin in there. Next, this, you can see the little notch, little slot right there. That goes in right there. There's one on each side. That's it. There's all there is to it. Just set it in there. Don't have to put anything, any pins, nothing like that on there. Now we'll put the front piece on and then we'll put those last four pins in. That is it. Now I've seen some where they talk about this having these uh, metal, these uh, plastic pieces going way out. This one, they've been cut off already. I did not cut them off, but someone did. <laughs> I'm going to have to put the camera down in order to just get the wires in there and then I'll press it on up in. I've got these two push pins in. I've all I got left is this one over here. Remember this side was missing one. See if it sinks up. There we go. 
ride around the block, see what she does. All right, well, there you have it. Nice audio system installed, sound, and good. So you do me a favor until next time. You, yes, you, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now I'm gonna go inside and cool off so I can take a shower so I can go back out and sweat some more out by a pool. Now, you go seize the day and I'll see you on the road real soon.